everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Ajwa and I hope this video finds you well if you are new to this place please consider subscribing and to all my returning subscribers welcome back and thank you so much so this video is dedicated to all my Muslim brothers and sisters worldwide in honor of the individual that is about to be celebrated you know I love festive seasons you know where you're, you're able to express yourself in terms of your you know your religion your culture the food which I love I love Salah food so I'm really anticipating what I'm going to get on Monday so I know a lot of people are going to have some gatherings some family reunions you know meeting friends sharing food and I have some 10 amazing Middle Eastern fragrances I believe will help you stand out during this festive period. I know a lot of my Muslim friends love Middle Eastern fragrances and they sort of you know compete with each other because they are quite strong and potent. So I just want to um, recommend these 10 which I believe will make you stand out from the crowd. So I would have wished for a uh, winged lady to do this video you know I, I guess would have wished that um she would have done something similar to this because i would really want to know her list you know because first of all she's a muslim i love her videos i love her charisma the way she goes about you know and her baby girl vibes i really love that and it's been a minute since i saw you ring lady so i i wish you happy salah so the first one i'm going to start with is obviously shagaf wood by swiss arabian what's not to like about this I believe it's quite obnoxious to some people because of the potency but it is very addictive like that rose oud saffron combination i don't need to even spray this to smell it it is so potent it will just you know make you stand up from the crowd people will notice you it has that um ladylike womanly it is not a girly scent it is like a very potent matured womanly rose scent you know that rose wood combination with that saffron is so addictive and intoxicating so that is my, my very first recommendation this next one i have here is one that i believe is wing lady approved i know i watch her videos and she always loves this fragrance and this is dolores by fragrance world this is obviously duping mark jacobs decadence and it is one that is like highly praised by her and i equally love it for people People who do not really want to make any bold statements because they are quite reserved you know or quite introverted I will highly recommend this jammy sweet jammy um, vanillic a bit smoky a bit you know sexy sort of vibes you know people normally um, associate this with the date night but I don't think it is only date night um, worthy you can wear it throughout the day and it will make a lot of sense so once it's wing lady approved I also highly second this Dolores by fragrance world so the next one I have here is one that I couldn't have made this list without it and this is camera by Latafa. This is a win-win. If you're a man, a woman, and you just want to really make a statement, especially when you um, layer it with other fragrances, it is so addictive. It is beautiful. Um, although I don't believe it is like a complete dupe of um, Killian's Angel Shed. It has that... Um, it's in their family, but it's the dates and the praline and the tonka, you know, that combination with a bit, just a little bit of that boozy vibes makes it an addictive, sweet, almost um, gourmandish vibes, you know, which is like perfect for the 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 eid celebration it, it smells festive you know it smells a lot of um, festive because of that apple pie sort of vibe you know and a lot of people recommend it during the winter christmas season so what more to you know get into the festive mood mood than um camera by latafa i really really love this one the next one i have here is also a rose wood combination it is one that I do not really pull out a lot of times because it's quite potent and you need to be in certain mood to me to be able to, <clears throat> excuse me, to be able to really pull this one off. It is loved by a lot of people and this is Ministry of Oud's Oud Satin Mood. This is a very unisex fragrance, you know, but I I, I smell it mostly on um, on men, you know. It is a rose, rose oud um powdery sort of um combination it is not one that is like um it is not like a common like too common of a scent or um overly duplicated Ooh, certain mood to me it's not like 
overly saturated on the market so if you have any dupes of it it sort of stand out from the other fragrances which are overly saturated on the market i love this one it is going to make a statement during the eid um, festivities anyone who smells this is going to you know draw close to you because this is quite addictive it makes a statement and people also um people also um compliment this fragrance so it is one that i would highly recommend for this eid festivity how sweet do you want to smell how baby girl like do you want to smell do you want to be that baby girl sweet chocolatey cocoa powder vanilla girl then i would highly recommend choco max by ari Hub. you know this is a very like very very affordable potent statement making fragrance which i highly highly recommend it is sweet it is like gourmand it is very affordable it gives you the baby girl vibes you smell that vanilla that cocoa powder it is one that is guaranteed to give you some much needed compliments for this festive season it is one that you know it is very likable very mass appealing so if you are not into this strong oud um sort of uh, typical stereotypical middle eastern vibes i highly recommend um Choco Max by Arihab. It is a good one and you need to really try it. It is equally good for layering. So you can basically layer it with all the fragrances that I am mentioning today. So highly recommended because it gives you the compliment and you're going to stand out from the crowd. So the next one I have here is one that is not like a total mass appealing scent. You know, to me, it is one that I adore, but I've heard a lot of people complain about how um, polarizing it can be which I sort of agree, but you need a certain sort of, you know, je ne sais quoi, a certain sort of uh, mood to be able to actually pull this one off and make it make a statement. And this is Amav's Club de Nuit Intense Woman. Like, there's nothing more to say. There's absolutely nothing more to say. This is a classy, um, matured, grown woman i know what i want i know how i'm going about my business vibes it stands out it is mysterious not everybody wants to be girly or feminine or woody and you know any kind of you know people want to just be different and this is one that gives you that um different you know it, gives, it makes you stand out in a in a very good way you know and it's not polarizing to me at all it's also a rude rosewood combination with some i think some earthy sort of truffle oak mossy uh, patchouli vibes which like makes a whole difference to me i love this one and i will highly recommend this for the edifito um, celebrations i really really like this one too for our men there's one that i cannot you know make this video without recommending and this is um supposed to this is a dupe of latin exclusive and this is loyal aga um this is Loya Aga by Laxido. This is a very beautiful, sweet party boy, you know, party boy sort of fragrance. It is really one that is very addictive. You know, I like the bottle. I like the potency, the strength that this one has. It stands out from the crowd. You will get noticed. It is like um, a bad boy sort of saint, you know, and I love, you know, I love being a bad boy every now and then, not like all the time, but every now and then. So I would highly recommend this Latin, um, sweet Van Lick, um, like a, a sort of mandarin orange, um, bergamot, you know, has that bright effervescence about it. And it's also like, like it doesn't really come across as the daily, daily um ordinary male fragrance you know this one is like a good one so you need to try loyal agar by laxidor so the next one i have here is mainly for women you know for those those women who are classy um you know it's not like any of these uh, fragrances are trashy but this one is like the quintessential classy elegant muslim woman you know you know you see her in her is it abaya you know you see her elegantly dressed her modest dressing her sense of fashion is elegant simple modest you know like something out of this world you know i love my muslim sisters when they dress up you know in that they are most modest dressing it is like it, it's so it's so beautiful and this is one that i would highly recommend for such classy elegant you know ladies 
and this is Fakar Rose. This is a deep of Letra D um, by Givenchy, and this is a very good one. You know, it is also not for everybody. It is like typically um, a white floral, tuba rose, jasmine, powdery um, scent, which is not really really for every, every everyone but it gives this sophistication this elegance this class you know there's something about this that is also so addictive it's like a lady like a lady who knows what she wants a lady who is put together it gives me that motherly sort of vibes too so i highly recommend this you know and i know lots of my muslim friends have like almost all the fragrances i'm talking about so just try and pull them out this um upcoming um celebration which is slated for monday i would love to smell these fragrances on you girls so that is um Fakar Rose by uh, latafa so this next one i have here is one that i recently you know have been playing with and this is ish al shuk by latafa known to be a deep of rosendo rosendo mato number five this one is a very unisex one you know people have complained about a rubbery touch you know that they can they can smell but i really don't get any rubbery sort of um, vibes to it it is like a musky um ambry um fragrance you know for the most part it is one that is also very very sweet it gives me that sweet sexy sensual um vibes and it is uber 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 sultry it is one for my sultry sisters or even brothers you know because it's very very unisex it is so potent like i wore it and then it, it will last you like the whole day and then some so for my brothers and sisters who really want to who have like sort of a sweet tooth uh, and also enjoy some mask and some amber this is one that i will highly also recommend so we have come to the very last fragrance which i have here and it is one that i you know i think this I, I would forever have in my collection you know no matter how saturated the market is with baccarat rouge this particular dupe is one with a twist that i i really really appreciate and this is opulent mask by latafa this is equally for the lady who is like um who doesn't really want to you know show up and be be be, be smells like everywhere you know you know it, it gives you a presence but it's not like as strong and potent and polarizing and in your face like a lot of the other ones that i have spoken about this one is a good one it's to give you that baccarat rouge vibes you know but the good thing i like about this one is the fact that it is infused with that um lemony um bergamot um sort of lemon cake um vibes which i so appreciate you know so it, it will not just go just the ordinary Baccarat rouge is never ordinary, but it does not go that route, you know, but it has something um, in addition to which, which makes it a little more special than the so many other dupes that is um, on the market. So this is Opulent Mask by Latafa. That is all I have for you today. I wish all my Muslim brothers and sisters all over the world all the best. I wish you like whatever you, you prayed for during this fasting period, I guess, wish everything comes to pass pass for you i wish you the best of health the best in your businesses the best in your family everything that you you've prayed and wished for i wish you like all the best i really really do so thank you so much for being here and i hope this video found you well if you are new to this place please consider subscribing and to all my returning subscribers thank you so much and i hope you enjoyed this one stay blessed bye bye